If you watched Miss Universe in the 1980s to the mid-1990s, then there's no doubt that you remember the Little Sisters. For the next few minutes, we'll be looking back on this long-gone but not forgotten Miss Universe tradition. The Little Sisters were little girls from the host city or country and were paired with each Miss Universe contestant. They first appeared during the evening gown competition of Miss Universe 1983 in St. Louis, Missouri. From 1983 to 1995, they consistently appeared during that part of the event. A little sister whose Miss Universe counterpart became a semifinalist had a role to play during the evening gown competition, greeting her with a flower and a curtsy before the two of them walked hand in hand to the front of the stage. She would then step aside as the contestant did a quick twirl before the judges and the audience, and then the Little Sisters would rejoin the women at the end of the evening gown segment. The other Little Sisters stayed in the background, singing or lip-syncing to a song created specifically for Miss Universe. During Miss Universe 1983, the semifinalists were serenaded with a song called You Are My Universe. The song then segued into a medley consisting of Stevie Wonder's You Are the Sunshine of My Life and Joe Cocker's You Are So Beautiful. In 1984, You Are My Universe was still played during the competition, but the medley included Air Supply's Every Woman in the World, Larry Graham's One in a Million You, and You Are So Beautiful. The same medley was played in 1985, this time with the inclusion of We Are the World. 1986 was the last time You Are My Universe was played, and the song included That's What Friends Are For and You Are So Beautiful. The song that many now associate with the Little Sisters was introduced during Miss Universe 1987. Our Little Sisters not only serve as companions, but also sing out with their own special star medley for their big sisters. You Are My Star was written by singer and composer Thomas Baylor as a tribute to his father who had passed away around the time he was preparing to write this tune. For many, You Are My Star is an iconic part of Miss Universe and a good way of reflecting how the contestants serve as an inspiration and as role models for the Little Sisters. The last time the Little Sisters appeared was during Miss Universe 1995 in Namibia. As a young fan at the time, I was surprised that the evening gown song had changed and was even more surprised when the Little Scissors were completely gone the next year. I didn't know that ownership of Miss Universe had changed hands then, so I suppose that change had something to do with the scrapping of the Little Sisters tradition. Looking back, I'm not quite sure what the purpose of the Little Sisters was, except perhaps to serve as a sort of guiding light for the contestants. During Miss Universe 1987 in Singapore, Host Bob Barker speculated that one of the little girls might end up becoming a Miss Universe contestant in the year 2000, but I don't think that the pageant served as a training ground for such young children. I imagine they joined the ladies at some pageant activities, but likely not all of them. The logistics of having the children around, and of course having a parent or guardian with each of them, would have been a nightmare for the pageant organizers. While Miss Universe no longer has the Little Sisters program, it appears Miss USA still does. The requirements and activities vary from state to state. Miss Montana USA highlights that young girls can join the Little Sisters program for the experience, to gain confidence, and to make friends. Meanwhile, Miss Arizona USA provides the Little Sisters with runway practice, an etiquette lesson, 
and a hair and makeup lesson with Miss Arizona Teen USA and Miss Arizona USA. It would be interesting to find out more about the women who were once little sisters during Miss Universe. The only update we have is from 2015. That was when Miss Universe 1984 third runner-up Desiree Verdadero and her little sister Jennifer Weiselberg Auerbach reconnected through Facebook. Pageant blogger Raul Gatal was able to get in touch with Jennifer and interviewed her about her experience as a little sister. I've linked to his blog post in the description. People generally perceive that the little sisters elevated the image of Miss Universe, turning it into a heartwarming and inspiring event. Today, you'll still find many comments reminiscing about the Little Sisters and hoping that Miss Universe will bring them back. The tradition was revived somewhat during Miss Universe 2016, when the Little Sisters from the Philippines, wearing replicas of the DIC crown, spent time with the candidates during some pre-pageant activities. However, it doesn't seem likely that we'll be seeing the Little Sisters again anytime soon, but at least we still have the memories. So that's all I have to say about the Little Sisters of Miss Universe. If you remember them, if you want Miss Universe to bring them back, or if you were a little sister, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.